Hi everybody, good morning, welcome to my channel. This is just going to be a quick one. As we know, the end of this month, August 31st, is the 25th anniversary of Princess Diana's death. And while we've all been consumed with Tom Bauer's new book, Revenge, just wanted to let you know there's another book out. Um, this time it's by Ken Worf and Roz Coward. Now, and it is called Remembering the Princess. Now, as we know, Ken Worf was Diana's personal protection officer for many, many years. Um, he was with her and the children for quite a long time. Now, Roz Coward was chosen as the author of the original book by the Diana Princess of Wales Memorial Fund. So, both of them have written books on Diana. Ken Worf's written a couple, I think, as well. Very authoritative insider information, really good stuff. So I really think this new book, Remembering the Princess, will be a great read um, for all of us that kind of know the story and what happened. A good time to revisit it on the anniversary of her death. And for those perhaps that Diana was before their time, this should be a real authoritative work on the life of Princess Diana and the legacy she left behind. So I really recommend it. Um, as usual, can't get it in Canada yet, but I will plug bookdepository.com again. Uh, they do have the book. It's not on Amazon.ca yet. We'll see when it does come out here. But for the meantime, if it's not available to you, go to bookdepository.com and they offer about 14 to 16 day free delivery. And on their site right now, the book is listed at 2668 Canadian. So there you can get it if you want. Now, we know Ken Worf was a good friend, a confidant, an ally, and worked very closely with Princess Diana at home and on trips abroad as her personal protection officer. And one of the most notorious anecdotes that he does tell, he's, he's said this one before, at... Uh, at one time, it was Camilla's sister's 50th birthday party. And at this time, Diana and Charles were pretty much leading separate lives. Camilla was firmly entrenched in her relationship with Charles. And anyway, uh, as protocol demands, both Charles and Diana were invited to the birthday party. Of course, Charles didn't believe in a million years that Diana would join him, but she insisted on going. And of course, because she was going, Ken Worf was along as well as her protection officer. You gotta think, there must have been some pretty intense moments when he's sort of the fly on the wall and seeing what's happening. Um, must have been quite tough sometime to remain, to uh, retain his composure, as in this particular instance they're at the party and at one point Diana can't find Charles or Camilla and so she goes to Ken and she says, Ken, I can't find my husband or Camilla. Come help me look for them. And he was, you know, didn't want to do it, but he had to. They found Camilla and Charles in a room on a lower floor having an intimate conversation and Diana in front of Charles and in front of Ken Worf confronted Camilla and said I know what you're up, up to I know what what it's all about you don't think I'm an idiot and Camilla gave a very strange reply as Ken Worf tells it she looked at Diana and said 
you know, what's your worry? You've got two beautiful boys. As if, you know, you've got what you wanted. Why are you even bothering with what I'm doing? And one thing I think out of this one incident that we have to remember, um, I mean, they've tried to rehabilitate Camilla's um, reputation over the years so that she can be a suitable queen and boost her public image beside Charles. But don't forget, at the time that she was having the affair with Charles, she was a married woman. She was uh, stepping out on, on her husband. And she didn't care about Diana. She didn't care about the children. She didn't care about the monarchy or the constitution, the role that Charles and Diana were, were to play in the future. She only cared about herself. And now she's like the cat that got the cream 25 years on. She's bucking to be queen consort. She went out. She got Charles. She's doing quite well for herself. But don't forget, she's really not that nice of a person. And she was out for Camilla and nobody else. But that notwithstanding, I think the book will be a good read pick it up. I think it'll be great insight and 25 years on a good recollection of the life and times of the Princess Diana. So that's all I've got for you today. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next time. And leave a comment. Let me know if you get the book, if you read it, and uh, what you think about it. Bye for now.